our plan. So how are we going to put all this into action and make sure that we're winning all of these races that we need to win? Well, um, I don't know if this makes you as nervous as it does me. Uh, but this is the countdown to the first polls closing on election night, November 6th. Um, time is a finite resource in elections, so we need to make the most of every single second that we have. So our timeline. Right now we're in a training, education, and early engagement phase. That will continue through until about August. Then we begin mobilization. The thing to remember is that about 40 states have early voting, uh, and some of them begin as early as mid-September. So we can't wait until GOTV weekend, the final weekend before the election, to start mobilizing our members and our quality voters. We have to start that work in September. And then, after November 7th, we take a little bit of time to rest, but then we use our electoral power to actually make a difference in the lives of LGBTQ people and their families. We're not trying to win political power just for the sake of winning political power. We actually want to do something with that power. So how are we going to mobilize? So we, first, the way that I like to describe this is we have two main categories of work for mobilization. The first is the ground game. That's what all of the steering committees around the country will be working on. It's what Jeremy and Marty and the field team will be working on in competitive states and districts around the country. And it's what Lynn and I and our team will be working on in the six HRC rising priority states. And what does the ground game include? Well, first of all, it's recruitment. We need to be recruiting more members. And we need to turn those members into volunteers. It includes training. We need to strengthen our political organizing muscle, and that means we need to, to put people through political organizing trainings. We have both in-person trainings and online modules for people to do no matter where they are across the country um, and be able to be trained on the different tactics that we think people need to know how to do in order to win elections. Third, direct voter contact. Doors, phones, and person-to-person -person texting. We have tools to help all of that uh, activity take place. And then finally, earn media and visibility, just to make sure that HRC and the LGBTQ movement are part of the story on November 7th when everybody's saying, well, how did, how did these victories happen? It's because we were there and we made it happen. Then there's the air game, the air cover. How are we providing support at headquarters through our online team, our comms and marketing team, and, and those of us on the HRC Rising team? We're going to be doing mail, digital ads and social content, and online organizing to assist with visibility and voter registration and recruitment, and mobilization, and persuasion. That is how we will mobilize. The work is already happening. We're already on our way. Um, this picture shows you a fraction